Hi guys, Odyssey Gaming here and welcome back to another Informed Player Review and today we are doing the Portugal player from Valencia, Gomez. So Gomez has 64 pace, 71 shooting, 80 passing, 83 dribbling, 72 defending and 82 physical. He is 6 foot 2 which is quite tall for a midfielder, got medium medium work rates, 4 star weak foot with 2 star skill moves and he does like using his right foot. So Gomez is currently going for between 20 and 30k on the both the Xbox and the PlayStation market, which in my opinion is about right. He's a very, very, very good centre mid, but he's nothing special. Like he's good, he's extremely good, but he can't score. That's his downside, he can't score. Now, you might be going, well, he's a centre mid, should he really be scoring? The answer to that is no. Centre mid should not always be scoring. However, when you've got somebody who gets in the opportunities that this guy gets into, he should be scoring a lot more. I mean, he does score quite a few goals. He did manage to score me five and get four assists in seven games. Not complaining about that. But it was just the amount of opportunities he had every game. He had like four or five opportunities a game just because he was so good at getting into the opportunities and the positions to score. But he just couldn't finish it. And I don't know what it was with him. I mean, he does have 71 shooting. He's not brilliant. It's not, you know, he's not a striker. I'm not saying he is. But, you know, that was his only downside. Now, his, his positives, there's, there's quite a few. He's very strong. He feels extremely strong on the ball. Very tall. Wins most his headers, if not all his headers, in the midfield. And in the attack, he did score me two-headed goals. You know, not going to complain about, about that. Um, his dribbling is also very good. Even though he does only have two-star skill moves, it's not really an issue because he is your centre mid. So, should you really be skilling with your centre mid? No, I, I feel as though just give it to the wingers. The wingers are the ones that, with the best dribbling and the best skill moves. So yeah, this player is very good to use, Gomez, and he does fit into most BBVA sides. Very good in the air, as I said. 64 pace is not really an issue because he is a, mid, uh, a central midfielder, so it's not really uh, ideal. Wow, well, it's not really a must that he has good pace. But yeah, uh, his main strength is his passing. It does say 80 passing. It feels more like 90, as you will see from some of the clips. His long passing. It's just insane. He can pick a ball out from anywhere on the pitch. And yeah, that is why he's having to get an 8.5 out of 10 from me. So for me, I found Gomez as a very average player. Definitely not worth his price tag, in my opinion. I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. So for me, he was very good at winning the ball in the air and just doing more of the defensive midfielder stuff. So to be honest, if I use them again, I would probably want to try him out as a defensive midfielder. He has got 72 defending and 82 physical, so he does win most of the aerial challenges as well because he's six foot two. However, as a centre mid, his passing was brilliant, but I just couldn't find him. When I did find him, he, he made plays happen. He got into positions. It's just half the time he went missing. I don't know where he was. Um, but it is what it is. His shooting, again, wasn't great. As Harry explained, he is a central midfielder, but his shooting wasn't great, and the positions he gets in, he should really be scoring more. So overall, I'm going to have to give him a 5 out of 10. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe for more content. If you've used Andre Gomez, tell us what you thought of him in the comments below and what position you used him. But apart from that, that's it. Thank you for watching, and have a brilliant day.